Hello, Plastic Model Builders. Welcome back. It is I, Ari, your host of Plastic Model Builder. We are continuing this F4 Phantom B by Tamiya. We are making it look pretty with some model making madness. We are clearly here doing the tail section, painting our silver bits. By the way, always hit the subscribe button, comment and like, because I love those. And don't forget, I have a new Facebook group, which is Plastic Model Builder, and a Facebook page, which is also Plastic Model Builder. As well, I do a live chat, so come do join my live chat. I don't mind if you give me money for it either. I always take money. There's nothing wrong with getting money. Anyway, join the live chat when we do video premieres. It's fun to talk about the model as we build it. Uh, you see here, we're just painting all the silver bits still. I like doing the silver bits. That's kind of what makes this model pop. It's what makes the F4 Phantoms so fun to do doing all these little colors, making them look really good. Going around carefully, they got all the different shades due to weathering, things like that, age, age more than anything. I didn't put little purple or blue streaks on any of this just because I felt like just doing it as is. They don't all get that type of streaking to it, but you see this is the rear here and it turned out really nicely. You see all the tape I've got down I get stuff everywhere and even on this a couple different shades of gray silver it's highlighted on the instructions with the different types of uh, colors you need to use all the formulas for them really easy to mix if you're using Tamiya paint that's what I did use here and look how pretty that turned out that's the tail hook looks good had a little bit of a seam line there, didn't bother with it. And that's what it will look like when it's installed. Haven't put that in yet, I'm just getting a general basis for what it will look like, what else I need to do, see how well the fit goes. Intakes, paint around the trim right here before you put this on. Best thing I can tell you. And you see that one area where I scraped away in one of the last videos to get the fit properly. So you see, this is the splitter right here. We're basically painting this stuff so we can put these onto the plane. Got the main color right here doing the back side. It's gonna be hard to see the back side when it is installed. Uh, here we're putting the main body color just around where the intakes go. That way I don't have to spray paint behind them or worry about it. Although I hear you don't really see it and some guys do it and some guys do not. I chose to do it ahead of the game. And you can see it here. You see where these pieces are going to fit. Uh, just clean off the area where you're going to be putting your glue. That way everything glues on properly. All right, let's peel this off. We'll see how well those turned out. The splitter looks great. Put that on the intake. Remember we worked on that prior to make sure it fit good. And it does glue it down. Of course, doesn't take a lot of glue as we know. Thin cement works wonderful. Seems to be everyone's, not everyone's, but a lot of people use it. Go around that edge right there. Uh, take your air intake, slowly slide it in. Press it down, make sure it meets up with everything, and boom, there it is. Get the little groove right there. Some people might choose to fill this in. I just left it as it is. I was satisfied with it. It looks good. Painting some more colors. This is the body color. It was like a neutral grayish. I don't remember. It comes with the instructions. It tells you what to do. I didn't exactly follow the instructions just because you know, I do my own thing sometimes, which is fine. After you weather these planes, they all look the same. So here we are with my airbrush. I do use a Badger 105 Patriot. Get all this stuff all the way across the whole fuselage. The tail end, of course, too. Don't break anything. Watch out for your antennas there. See, I'm real bad about that. Anyway. Be careful with your antennas. Spray a couple of coats. Let it dry a little bit in between each coat, but not too long. Then it can all cure. Spraying our wheels. Using my little circle guide I got here. Painting the hubs. If you get a little overspray around it, it's okay. It'll be weathering. Tires get worn. They get replaced. They get changed out. We got these right here. That is the other side. Let's see what they look like. Because I painted them all black first. And there's the little one. It's a cute little guy. Front and back of those. There's two of them, of course. One 
rear on each side, right and left, and then two on the front. Get them all. Got some antenna that we need to put on. You can choose whether you want to put these on now or wait till later. That way, you know, you don't risk breaking them off. As you see, it just fits nicely in place. Uh, they do make part of this in decal. That way you don't have to spray paint it. I chose to spray paint because I didn't realize they had decals, but I think I would have spray painted it anyway. Sometimes they do choose to use the decals. Sometimes they don't. I'd say if you use the decals, trim away the clear parts of it first because that can be a pain to get on. Notice I have a canopy on there. That canopy doesn't stay on there. I am not using that canopy. I do take it off and it actually cracks into two pieces when I do that later. You see I got the black filled out. It looks good. Just peel off our tape. That way you can see what it finally looks like all the way around. I may have had one or two drippy drips. Not a big deal. I did try to press it firmly. Cleaning the plane with alcohol ahead of time is one of the things I did do. That way, you know, it wouldn't leave any bad marks. Here we have our ailerons, I think, or our flaps, one of the two. Rear stuff on the tail. And of course, those are the areas I masked off when I painted everything. I like how it all turned out. Putting on the white coats, I did a second base coat probably on that just to make it look good. You can tell we're obviously getting to the end of this uh, build. You know, next is decals pretty much. Make stuff look pretty, getting out my silly putty that I use. That is to cover everything up. Does a good job. Assemble the rear. You know we're getting so close. I've got my afterburners. Put those in. We've got little registration marks so you know where they go. Really simple build. Very nice plane. The Tommy F4B Phantom 2 148th scale. This is the tail. Just press it down. See where everything goes. Going to put it in place. Got all the pieces together there. Press it in. Where's the seams? Hard to tell. I don't know. You use your glue properly, it'll fill them in to where it just completely vanishes. And then you got your tail hook because this is a Navy jet. The F4B was. All sorts of B's, A's, J's, N's. And then these little guys. They hold everything in place right here. And make your tail move up and down and to the side. That's the goal. Just press them in. Make sure you have the orientation correct, of course. They do have a proper way to go. And look, see, everything moves. Then you got this little end cap that goes on right there. Glue that down. And the plane is just, it slowly takes shape. The more and more stuff you put on there. Now I'm painting red. I hate red because I always mix it too thin and then it comes out looking cruddy. And... You get bleed through, it's a pain in the butt to fix, which I had plenty of that. But I won't tell if you won't tell. So there's the red on the tail. You see how dark it is. I used a regular insignia red because it wasn't labeled in the instructions. It was more like rouge, but I'm guessing if it was a fighter jet, it was probably insignia red. And you know, they also do that around the wheels and stuff like that. The, not the wheels themselves, but the... Uh, rear wheel doors that way it's a danger zone so you don't put your fingers there and get them smashed got this little area right here which goes red and yes i do mask off because i am afraid of overspray some people say are you afraid of overspray yes i am because that's why it's called overspray because you don't expect it to go anywhere and then it does but you see how beautiful that looks when it is painted correctly you might see a little bleed through on some of these I apologize in advance for that. You see I have a little bit of liquid mask on some of those. So this here, that is for the fueling probe, as you can see. That's the door for it and the hinge. Put that together. You'll let that dry and then we can put that into the plane a little bit later on. It just slides right on in. That's the door for it. And that will close eventually when the little thingy opens and closes. Mine doesn't because, you know, it's static. But I did everything open with all of the uh, options as a showpiece model of what it can do. And just painting the rest of the uh, landing gear, little details right here. I got my red pen. Red pen is about the same as the paint that I used. It's color red, fine tip, oil based. And I'm painting over 
and acrylic so it will be just fine you see how I did that there glue down the exhaust from before you remember we've been working on this for a while and this because I didn't feel like using tape I decided to just use my pen right there it goes red another danger zone so be careful don't get yourself caught in the flaps when they move up and down or ailerons I can't remember which ones they are offhand because they have your flaps and your ailerons and then your flapperons. So much stuff to remember with this plane. Anyway, I like how the color turned out because I had it white and here I am just using this pen to paint the insides there red of the danger zones. I got some decals I put on now because they're easier to put on than later for the wheels when we go to at least assemble the wheels and put those down. Clip those. We have right here the detail parts that go on to it. Some hinges for the front landing gear. You gotta get those on there. Work carefully and slowly, but make sure it all lines up properly. And this is how I do it. And I just kind of close them together just like that. Put your glue down. I like it. I made it look pretty. More of that front landing gear right there. This is just how it goes, like that. Remember, join the live chat, subscribe, comment, and like. Put our front wheels on, because we can. These go on very well, just like that. Very simple. Look how they go. Put on the other one. Thanks for watching, and until next time, as always, see ya.